Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I'm going to be showing you a jackback. A jackback is a wooden back replacement for your iPhone which allows you to replace this piece of glass right here with a sleek and stylish piece of wood that is also engravable. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, well, unpackaging of a jackback and showing you how to install it. I just got this in the mail today and uh, it's for my new iPhone 4S. They make them for the 4 and the 4S. And they also make skins for the iPhone 4 and 4S and an iPad 2 skin for the back of your iPad 2. Go check them out at jackbacks.com, links in the description. But let's get down to business and I'm gonna show you what this looks like and how to put it on. So this is what it came in. It actually came in a, a USPS like flat rate shipping box. So this is what the packaging looks like inside of there. And so we're just gonna pop this off right here. Pop these stickers off. And there we go. So you can see the jack pack right here. And I'll show you what I mean by custom engraved. All right, so let me get this open here for you guys and I'll show you what this looks like. So this is a jack pack. This is the custom engraving that I was talking about. I had Mac Mixing put on mine. Uh, you can get pretty much whatever you want put on yours, but this is how it looks. It's an exact back replacement for your iPhone 4 or 4S. And basically what we're gonna have to do is take off the glass back right here and we're gonna slip this on there in place of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get doing that here. And so this is in one package. This came in this package right here. And in the next package right here we have a couple other things. And I'm gonna show you guys those too. So let me just get in here. Open this up. All right, so here we have a couple different screwdrivers, right? Comes with two sets of screwdrivers that will work for the different model of iPhones that you may have. And right here, we have uh, just a set of stickers, basically. Um, just some cool stickers that you can put on stuff. Got wood, you know, Jackbacks wood plus iPhone, the little Jackbacks guy with the logo. And uh, basically a picture of a cracked back of an iPhone. So, you know, this is a good uh, example of what you can replace your back with if you accidentally crack your iPhone back here. Uh, right here we have just a little, uh, it's just a little card basically. We have Jackbacks real wood iPhone accessories, jackbacks.com. So that's where you can get that from. Also, uh, if you check the link in the description, I put a link to an article that has a banner for Jackbacks. There's a special code on there where you can get 10% off if you want to order one. Also, we have a button here that says got wood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out which one of these actually fits my iPhone. All right, so just by looking at it, I can already tell which one it needs. So you just wanna take off these bottom screws right here. And if any of you have watched my video on how to take apart an iPhone, this is very similar to that. You just wanna unscrew these two screws by the 30 pin connector at the bottom. Just get them out there. Be careful not to lose them or strip them. But you know what, if you do strip them or lose them, there's another set right here. Uh, well, on mine, there's another set attached to the package on the back right here. So that's kind of handy in case anything happens to your screws. These screws are so small, it's very easy to lose them. All right, so I have the two screws off. And what you want to do here is you want to hold it like this on the side. And you just want to push up just like this. Don't force it too, but you can start seeing it separating here at the bottom. So right as it comes up like that, you can just pull off the back. Just like that, nice and easy. So there's the back of my iPhone 4S. So now what we're left here with is the inner workings of the iPhone. Now what you wanna do with your jack back is you wanna take it and there's little notches here on the side. Let me focus in on this for you. There's these little notches right here and you wanna make sure that you get these little notches in the right places. Um, obviously too, you wanna to take off this little piece of paper right here. It doesn't need to go in there with you. And now there's a sticky, there's a piece of uh, stickiness right here. Now you can do what you want with that. You don't need to do this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little piece of paper just to prevent anything building up inside of the back. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and stick it right over that little sticky area right there cover it up just like that. So then what we're gonna do here 
is we're going to line this up on the back kind of make sure you can kind of feel it slip into those notches if you get it in the right spot if you just kind of take it from the front and just lightly hover it over the back you'll find the sweet spot where they just all kind of fall in so you want to make sure that you have all the notches on all the sides pushed in you don't want to have anything sticking up or or popping out or anything you don't want to have it like this or something where you can see one of those notches see how that notch is sticking out well if I try to push that in it's gonna shatter that and I'm going to break the jack back and then you're not gonna be happy so make sure you have everything pushed in on all sides and it's pretty much flush like your regular back was just have it pushed in on all the sides and then we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did we're just gonna push from the top down so you can do it in a couple ways you can go like this and pull it down or for me, I'm just going to take it from the top, hold one thumb right here, and just push it down. Just like that. It's all flush. Everything's perfectly centered on there. And we have our nice, beautiful jack back there on the back. Mac Mixing Jack Back. Like I said, you guys can get anything you want engraved on there. It's pretty cool. So what we're going to do here now is just put these screws back in here. Just make sure you had them uh, somewhere safe. And you're going to take these magnetized screwdrivers that come with it and as you can see it's just sticking to there and so you just want to go ahead and screw them back in all right you guys so everything's good to go and uh, i thank you for watching also click this button and subscribe to my channel and our twitter page is here go follow me on twitter and our facebook page is here and subscribe to my new vlog channel right here thank you guys so much for watching thanks for your support this is dom from macmixing.com and have a good day.